Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, I am so glad to have you, girl. You keep coming back and I appreciate you. And if you are new here, then please take a second to pause this video and press the subscribe button. Today, I have prepared a video about how I constructed an onion conditioner for your hair. Now I know what you're thinking, even though you read the title and clicked on the video, yes girl, onions for your hair. It may sound crazy, but I'm gonna tell you why it's not. So onions are rich in antibacterial properties and onion juice stimulates your scalp and the blood flow, which as you know, also results in hair growth. A healthy blood flow on your scalp nourishes your follicles. And it is important to keep your follicles healthy and well fed because that ultimately is what is going to prevent any additional breakage on the strands of your hair and any additional shedding from the scalp. Now let's get into this whole milk yogurt. I know that in my previous conditioner cocktail videos, I had been using Greek yogurt, which I believe is non-fat. So I recently made a switch over to whole milk, which is full fat. If you have watched any of my other videos on my conditioner cocktails, you know that my ingredients vary each time, depending on the state that my hair is in and what minerals and nutrients I'm trying to put back into my hair. So for this particular conditioner cocktail, I am using the red onion, my white onion, whole milk plain yogurt, liquid aminos, pure baking soda, my measuring spoons, and a stocking cap that I am using in place of a cheesecloth. Either or will do. For this treatment, you can use red, white, or yellow onions. However, it is said that red onions are typically best to make this conditioner because there's more juice in it compared to the other onions. However, I just had a leftover red onion and a leftover white onion and I wanted to make it do what it do. So that's what I used in this video, both of those pieces. Of course, I would recommend a new or fresh one if you have it, but leftovers are good as well. So here I am just dicing up my onions. I am trying my best to cut them into little square portions. Um, I would say about the size of a penny or smaller. Obviously the smaller the pieces the better because it's going to blend up better. Once I got all this in the blender, I did find that I had to stop blending sporadically and just mix the particles down to the bottom of the blender, like the onions that were kind of going up to the top. Obviously, the more you blend down your onions, the more juice you're going to get and the more use you'll have out of the onion that you cut. I decided to place the stocking cap around the bowl because I really couldn't see how I was going to hold the stocking cap open in my hand and then scoop the onions properly with the other hand. So I just stretched it around the bowl and then as you see, I had that little indentation so it worked out perfectly. I decided, you know what, let me just grab some dish gloves because there is no way I want to wring this and have this scent on my fingers and under my nails because it was so potent. So once I got my onion juice all squuzzed out, I went ahead and added my liquid aminos. I am doing this with my one tablespoon measuring cup
Next is my whole milk yogurt. And I'm going to be adding one full cup of this. Once I mixed it all up, I was not pleased with the consistency. I mean, obviously considering it was onion juice and liquid aminos, it was very liquidy. And also I scooped my yogurt from the top of the package without mixing it up, which was really dumb because like if you've ever opened yogurt, you know what I'm talking about. It has that little liquid like sitting on the top and I didn't mix it up. So my hair conditioner was a little too watery. So I just said, what the heck, let me grab. I had a little leftover piece of banana and I was like, let me just cut this up and add this to my conditioner to give it a little more texture. Plus bananas are super nourishing for you. For your hair and I use them all the time so yeah And the bananas did help with the texture of the conditioner but I still wasn't feeling it girl so I went ahead and I added one more cup of whole fat yogurt and for that part I scooped it from the bottom and tried to get like the thickest part of the yogurt where the water wasn't resting and that as you can see it helped the conditioner the texture so much more So after that, I was just like, girl, let me add some avocado oil in here. Because I make conditioner cocktails so frequently, I can kind of eyeball them. And also as I'm going along, I'm thinking of the ingredients that are in there and I'm like, what else would go good with this? So I did decide to use some avocado oil. You can use grapeseed, you can use coconut. Those are um, other good supplements for avocado. And then I am using my one tablespoon measuring cup. So the last and final step for this was my baking soda. I didn't want to go crazy with the measurements of this. If you've watched any of my Cherry Lola videos, you know that typically I go in with two or three teaspoons. For this, I just wanted to do one. The conditioner is bubbling up and coming alive, so I am not going to waste any time. I put it right in my hair. Here's my hair with the conditioner applied. For the benefits of this conditioner, this is kind of a before and after situation. So I will definitely have to continue to use it and give you guys an update on whether or not I see a difference in shedding in my hair. But other than that, I have no complaints. Again, thank you so much for watching. If this video was at all helpful to you, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button on your way out. Thanks.